This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. There's more to AutoCAD than drawings, whether or not they are in paper or digital format. AutoCAD can also create simple animations. That's right, you can make movies with AutoCAD. This section will give you a brief overview of the process. But first, you need a model. Open up the 3D rendering file. This file is a model of a house on a street. It's pretty simple, not a lot of detail to it, just what's on the outside. Let's put it in a 2D wireframe view so that we can navigate around it much more easily. AutoCAD can't make your models or objects move, but what it can do is move through your model. Think of it as a camera on wheels, and those wheels and that camera will record what it sees as it moves through your design. Well, that's actually exactly what it does. So we need to tell the camera where to go and where to look. You can do that in two different ways for both instances. You can have the camera set on a point and then we'll turn or look towards a pathway. Or it can just simply look at a point. So you have pathways and points. So the camera can sit on a point or it can travel along a pathway. As it's doing that, it can either look at a fixed point or as it travels on a pathway, it can look at a different pathway. It's a little confusing maybe, but before we get started, we need to draw a pathway. And you can draw that with a polyline. So start your polyline command and just simply make a path that goes around the house. It can be a square, it can be anything. Just don't close it. You can draw that line on any layer. Now, what I suggest doing is opening up your properties panel and moving that pathway up. Otherwise, it's on an elevation of zero, so you're going to be looking from the ground. Just type in 10 for the elevation. And now it's 10 feet high. If we take a look at it real quick, you can see that pathway is elevated just slightly. Of course, you can change this at any time, and you can go and set it to whatever elevation you need it to be set to. Now, that's all we need to do to create a simple animation. Type in the word Anipath, A N I P A T H. This will bring up your animation pathway manager or the motion path animation. There are several settings here. First setting to set will be the link your camera. Now you can set it to a point by picking the point command and then selecting that point where you want it to go to. Let's say just on the outside of the house. Give it a name and call it whatever you want. Now you need to link your target. This is where your camera is going to look as the animation is created. In this case, we will be at a set point, so pretend that your camera is on a tripod standing there. And then you're going to pivot and turn and raise and lower your camera along a certain pathway while you're filming. You can't do a point to point, but you can do a path to point or a path to path. In this case, we're setting up at a point, looking at a path. Now we need to select our path. We'll pick our line that we created, we call it path one, and OK. We need to pick a couple of settings. The frame rate, which is typically set to 30 frames per second. So it will take 30 pictures per second for your movie. And now we have the number of frames. Since we are at 30 frames per second, if we do 30 frames, the movie will last one second. So it will travel along the length of the entire pathway in one second. That's a little fast for what we want to do. So let's call it five seconds just for display purposes. Then you have a resolution. The larger the resolution, the larger the movie is, which also means it's a bigger file size and it's going to take you a lot longer to render. For what we're doing, let's go with a smaller 160 by 120. Then you pick your movie file format. Whichever one works best for you, WMV is a typical Windows movie version. Click on the preview button to see what the movie is going to look like. And this is what it is. Not very exciting, is it? 
but you can change the way it's rendered and replay the movie to get a better view. So that's it. Then click OK and then save your movie and you can email it to all of your friends. Now one problem we had was that we had a fixed point and as we were at this fixed point right here the camera turned and this was the projection view that we saw. Now it's usually a little bit more exciting when we use our movie maker if we have the camera go along the pathway. So instead of a point, let's link the camera to a pathway. Call it path one. And then we'll target or we'll have the camera pointed to a point somewhere in the center of the house. Same formatting. We'll go for about five seconds again. Hit the preview button. There's a lot more action going on this time. We can turn that to a conceptual design look. And this is the way it will look when it's rendered. Or more realistic if you have materials added to your file. Click OK. And then save your file. Pretty exciting stuff. That's how you make an animation in AutoCAD. Now you can change this up a little bit. And we can add a different pathway. for viewing purposes, just to see what's going to happen. Pick our pathway as being here. And link the target to here. Duration of five seconds. Enough resolution and preview. As you can see, depending on your pathway really determines what it's going to look like. Play with your settings, play with your movies, to see what you can get. Give it five seconds and preview again. <laughs> your animations can get real crazy. The simpler, the better. And then pick your point and hit your preview. We can speed it up or slow it down with a number of seconds and get your animation. You can even change things like the elevation of your polyline and it can go up and down. Each vertice can be at a different elevation if you'd like. Play with it, see what you can do, but that's how you make an animation. This might be a great way to present to your clients or potential clients a product that you're trying to develop.